ladies and gentlemen welcome once again at word music entertainment happy happy 2022 and today i want to talk about the journeys of life and you know life is a journey but with many roads life is a journey but it's with many roads now every other journey you can decide to take uh you can you any other journey that you decide to take it's easy but there is only one journey that is scaring men there is only one journey that is hard to travel there is only one journey that you have to die your your self will has to die and submit to god's will and that is called the journey of salvation is the toughest journey to walk through and i hereby dare you to walk through the journey of salvation faithfully 2022 because it's the hardest journey that a man can ever take or a man can ever think to pursue it's not for it's not for sissies it's not for 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 little boys it's for men it's not for people who don't understand who they are it's for mature men who have understood who they are and their calling and their purpose and they are above all they know who their god is it's a journey that is avoided by many many will do it to go through it but many avoid it because as i've told you is not an easy journey and is the journey of salvation the journey of 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 faith and i dare you today this year to take the journey of faith and pursue it it's hardest but it you know with the help of holy spirit it's achievable and sweetest by the help of holy spirit it's achievable and sweetest the journey of faith and salvation everybody loves god everybody loves god everybody prays to god even demons yes in the bible we see jesus meeting a man who was demon possessed and this man this man and the demons that were in the, in the in this man uh prayed to jesus not to say they said master don't send us to hell Uh, and they also prayed Jesus to send them so that they can disturb the pigs or they can enter pigs so you understand even demons pray god everybody fears god everybody everybody bow down when you meet with god you have to bow down but you see when you are on the earthly realm come up in adam si watu wengi wanaweza kufanya Mungu anavotaka si watu wengi wanaweza fanya Mungu anavotaka uh, in the book of job 13:15 job said though he slay me yet will i trust him remember job you, all of you know the story of job this was a man who was going through a lot of issues lost amepoteza familia yake yote pesa yake yote Uh, mali yake yote kila kitu mwili wake afya yake na bado alikuwa na nguvu ya kusema ingawa Mungu anani ananiadhibu bado nitamtukuza many people give up on the journey of salvation because of divorce some because of brokenness some because of diseases setback unapata mtu anamtukana Mwenyezi Mungu jua ligonjeka mwingine jua li relationship yake ilisha anatupia Mungu mkono everybody ha- people have various reasons why they mock god and you know disobey god because it's not an easy journey 
and you know god cannot do as we wish it's not it's not journey for everyone of course it's for the chosen few but all of us are welcomed the, the, you know it it the decision is has is us to make it's not even altered by the holy spirit is not altered by god the only thing that god can do the best thing that the holy spirit can do is to reach out to you but the decision for you to follow god is up to you for you to do as god will is up to you it is not an easy journey it is not an easy journey and it's not for everyone therefore i dare you 2022 can you please walk this journey of salvation of faith can you please pursue this journey of salvation and faith 2022 for the glory of god there are people will who will leave god because they have prayed for 2 years and god didn't answer and they don't know why god didn't answer you know god knows you better than you know yourself huh there are people who will leave god just because of a relationship hmm? there are people who will spend 10 hours talking to women but they don't even spend 20 minutes talking to god you find a man talking to a woman more than 10 hours a woman thinking about a man all his time but he has no time for god we have to be deliberate intentional pursuing the ways of god pursuing the ways of god very deliberate very intentional because this journey is not for the 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 faint hearted second corinthians 5:7 for we walk by faith not by sight sight is what you see every reason telling you every everything everything fighting against the existence of god scientists can prove to you that god does not exist they can tell you every theory but you see we know that god exists not by sight not by explanations but by faith you can only contact god by faith you can only walk through this journey by faith if you don't have faith the journey of salvation is not yours you will struggle in the journey of salvation i dare you to walk the journey of salvation 2022 Of course it is the hardest thing to do but let me tell you it is the most amazing thing you can ever do it's the favor you will do for yourself it's not for everyone even the devil doesn't want you to walk in this journey of salvation but it's the best thing that you can ever do to yourself to your soul to your life i don't care how much you own I don't care what you, what level of success you attain. Without Jesus like Solomon it's vanity upon vanity. I don't care whatever you will be, but without Jesus is vanity upon vanity. Walk this journey faithfully and live a fulfilled life. It's not easy, but it's worth it. You die to self. You die to self and do as God will. I dare you 2022 walk the journey of salvation. I know many people started the year most of Christian promised themselves they'll be faithful this year. And by the way, if you always make new uh resolution every year, there is a problem with you. because you should have a plan that you follow whatever even if the year changes every second stick to your plan uh, stick to your plan stick to your plan you can't have resolution 
every other year. Just continue being better. The same with faith and salvation. You can say, I'll try and be more saved in 2022. Do it now and forever, whether 2023 or 2024. Don't be caught in the hype. 1 Timothy 6.12 Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith. It's a fight. It's a battle. It's a battle. Paul is telling Timothy it's a battle to attain this eternal life. You won't get it easy. If you want to get diamond and gold, it won't be easy. You have to sweat. Sweat blood and tears. It's a battle. Huh? For which you made your good, it's a good confession you made in the presence of many. If you walk in this journey, I dare you not to hide yourself. Walk tall and say to tell your friends, I'm born again, and from today, I'll not do this and this. If they'll drop you, you will know these were not your friends. It's not a journey for sissies, it's not a journey for babies, it's a journey for people who are called to serve the Lord faithfully. Hmm? It's a journey that that is not for everyone. People give up on it and go and seek which doctors. People give up on this journey yeah? and get kickbacks and go and steal money and, and, and do all kind of things. People become impatient. You see in the Bible, even Sarah, he couldn't, she couldn't trust God. When God tells you, you will get a baby, even if you are 200 years, you will get a baby. The word of God is low. But people doubt God so much because they don't walk in faith. Sarah could not believe how he will be a mother at 90-something years because he doesn't know the God. He, 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 she didn't have the total revelation of the God she is serving. Because she was walking by sight. Yes, she loves God, but like many of us, she failed to believe and hold on to the word of God. Hmm? I told you the last message that God will do it. Some of you don't even believe the message. Huh? We ain't preaching for the hype anymore. Our interest is to, to touch and save a soul. God to use us to touch and save a soul. Hmm? Matthew 7, 13, 14. Enter through the narrow gates, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And may, many enter through it, but small is the gate that, and narrow is the road that leads to life. Only a few find it. The Bible is telling you that only a few will find this way. That's why, that's why when we preach this message to people, it's, 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 they can't get it. It's only for the few. To get this message, to get this message of hope, is for the few, only a few who will get it. The wise ones. If you don't get the message of salvation and you call yourself wise, I doubt you. I question you. This message, only a few will get it, according to the book of Matthew. By the book of Matthew is saying, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Broad. Yeah. Maisha ambaye na starehe ya hali ya ju zaidi. Hi safari ya wokovu na kwambia ndugu yangu dadangu. Shia kila mtu. Ni ya watu waliojitolea to die, their self will to die uh, to have to, to have no self will ni watu waliojitolea sana ni watu waliojitolea sana zaidi hmm? njia pana ndio ya destruction i dare you to walk this journey of salvation i will consider you a man when you dare to walk this journey of salvation. You are only a complete human being when you know who is your maker and when you submit. You are only a complete human being when you understand and follow the instruction of your maker. If you don't follow the instruction of your maker or manufacturer, you malfunction. Huh? 
You have to follow the instruction of your maker who created you, your father in heaven, the lords of lights. Be the light in this journey of salvation 2022. Succeed and bless people along your way. Inspire, share the message of good news with everyone. Yeah? It's the only debt that we have to God. I know it's not for everyone. And I know not everyone will get it. But the few who will get it will be blessed. The few who will get it will be blessed. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful message today. Help us to achieve the gift of righteousness as we walk the journey of salvation as we walk the journey of righteousness be with us and cover us and lead us the right way father we bless your name because there is no one like you we worship you because you are god forever and ever our father our lord there is no one like you forever and ever our father our god remember the word is saying matthew 22:14 for many are called but few are chosen This message is for the few who are chosen. It's not for many. It's for the few who are chosen. I remind you, get back to your God-given purpose and run the race of the, your, run your God-given race. You are a chosen one, and God is still ready to receive you as the prodigal son. He's eagerly waiting for you. He's eagerly waiting for you for you to turn around. So that he can embrace you as his son, who he loved and created with so much love in his eyes. I bless you and may God sustain you. Amen.